Hello, my dear students. I hope you are fine and ready to start the sixth lesson of our sixth unit, People and the World. Today's topic is the Museum of the National History. Starting this lesson, I want to ask you, what is a museum? In what way will you explain this word to a foreigner or a visitor or a tourist that doesn't know Romanian, doesn't know Russian, but just English? So, of course, the dictionary helps us all the time. According to the dictionary, a museum is a place where a collection of objects illustrating science, art, history, or other subjects is kept and displayed. There are three main kinds of museums, art museums, history museums, and science museums. So, from the previous lesson, we have spoken about art museums. So, we spoke about those three galleries from London. Now, let us speak about the museums in London. The first museum is the British Museum. Historical and archaeological exhibits and graphics are displayed there. The British Museum also has a reference library called the British Museum Reading Room, which is not simply part of the museum, but is the largest and most important reference library in Britain. The Victoria and Albert Museum displays fine and applied arts of all countries, periods, and styles. It is named after Queen Victoria and her husband, Albert. Museums in London. The Science Museum exhibits illustrating the history of science and industry are kept there. The New London Museum is a museum of the history of London. The Natural History Museum has exhibits relating to botany and zoology. So, as far as you can understand, in London you can have the opportunity to visit a lot of museums. But today we are going to speak about the Natural History Museum. Before we speak about that and before you read the text about the Natural History Museum, let us speak about the new words that you might find and you will find in the text. So, the first word is creature. It means animal and person. Walkway, passage, path where you can walk. Still, one picture from a moving film, life size, which is the same size as the real thing or person. So, for example, we, animals, we are considered to be creatures, living creatures. Walkway can be the path, the road, the sidewalk that you can walk on. Still, it is just a small part of a film and life size is about something that is very close to the real size of a person, of an animal, of a flower, and so on. If everything is clear, I want to ask you to find page 115, and I want you to pause and read this text. Read the text the National History Museum. And afterwards, come back and we will continue working with this text. So, take a few minutes and read the text, please. Now, when you are ready and you have read the text, let us move on to the tasks. The first task is match each word with its synonyms, then make a sentence using each bold word. So, work please alone, pause, and take a few minutes to do this, and afterwards we'll check the answers. Okay, so if you are ready, let us check answers. So, to view, it means to look at something, to consider. Strange, odd, bizarre. Gift, present. Display, show, exhibition. So, now 
The second part of this task is to make sentences. For example, if you travel to Moldova, you can view a lot of beautiful landscapes. Strange. Something strange happened to me last night when I heard a voice, but I couldn't see anybody. Gift. For my birthday, I got a beautiful gift. It was, let's say, a watch. Display. Visiting the gallery, we could uh, see a lot of uh, display of beautiful paintings. Okay, let us move on. The next exercise express the following in one word. Large prehistoric reptile, spine column of bones forming the main support of the back. So find in the text and let us check. So the large prehistoric reptile is dinosaur and spine column of bones forming the main support of the back is the backbone. Great job. Shall we continue? Of course. The next exercise is state what the meaning of the word sale in the text is. The noun sale has several meanings, namely a. A sheet of material attached to a pole on a boat to catch the wind and make the boat move. b. A journey by boat or ship. c. The broad fin on the back of a sailfish or of some prehistoric reptiles. Find please the sentence in the text and tick the right answer. If you are ready, let us check. So sail in the text has the meaning of the broad fin on the back of a sailfish or of some prehistoric reptiles. Great job, let us continue. The next exercise is a listening exercise. So, you will have to listen the recording and complete the text with the following words. Medieval, history farms, houses, cooking, valley, unique crops, sewing, exhibits. So, listen and complete. The village museum. The museum will be set in a gently sloping, partially wooden valley. This museum will provide a unique opportunity of seeing how country people in Moldova lived from medieval times. On leaving history farms, workers will demonstrate how crops were planted and harvested in earlier times. Leaving history houses will be restored to their original condition and will be open to the public. In this village, costume, costumed interpreters will demonstrate how early inhabitants of this land performed such tasks as cooking, making shoes, embroidering and sewing. An entire social history of the rural area will be demonstrated by the exhibits brought together here. If you completed all the blank spaces, let us check the task. So you can analyze what you did while listening and correct the mistakes that you make. Or if you don't have the mistakes, I congratulate you. And of course, when we finish the lesson, I prepare for you all the time a surprise. So this is a reflection task. I want you, taking into consideration everything that we learned today, to fulfill this task. So, what you have to do? You have to think about the following. If you could design a museum of natural history, how would it be? Consider the following. Location, display, place, and exhibits. So, thank you very much for your attention. It was a pleasure to work with you today. Be healthy, stay safe, stay home and learn English. Goodbye.